What is up, everybody? It's Easy Easy Street Gaming, bringing you another one-on-one. -on -one. This is Baby Dragon vs Mega Minion. We're gonna be comparing the two cards, using both in the same army. So it's pretty pretty simple for us to make some good comparisons with them. Both really effective in their own right, but they have some unique differences. Even, you know, they have similar features. They both fly. They both have similar. Uh, you know, the one's a three, one's a four card. So. You know, there's a lot of similarities, but it actually plays out really bit, really different uh, once you start using them a lot. We'll go over Baby Dragon first. Baby Dragon, ha and we're comparing with each other, so it says high hit points. So you see on the right hand side of the screen, uh, we have some of the breakdowns. Uh, high hit points, it's high, higher hit points than Minion, or Mega Minion, and makes, it a, makes Baby Dragon a pretty good defensive troop. And when I say good defensive troop, this normally what I'm talking about is, if you put in a card and it's able to hold off the troops for long enough for you to be able to put another card in so if you have to if you have to hold off the three three elixir or three seconds whatever uh can it hold its own until you can put another card in and help out on defense and baby dragon's pretty good at that so it's good on defense does splash damage so it's able to take on uh, an entire minion horde uh bats skarmy all these different cards and uh, does moderate damage though, so that's that's not a plus. That's that's not going to take out a tower very well by himself. So you got definitely a support troop. It's not it's not one of those uh, going for the kill troops. And the four elixir. Now four elixir is not exactly expensive, but when you're using a card to play defense with as a support troop, four elixir is kind of expensive actually. Because you're, you're using them against things that are mostly three cards. Like uh, using them against uh, minions, which is three. Now granted, minion horde is five, so you have a little advantage there. But uh, like Skarmie's three. So you, there's a lot of things that you're going to be using the baby dragon for. That you have a, an elixir disadvantage for, too. So one of the disadvantages to the baby dragon would be the, the higher elixir cost. Now, as you're using them... Probably the biggest advantage you have is it does do splash damage, and it's able to stop a lot of the bigger troops. It's able to, uh, you, you can put a stop to the wizard, you can, uh, electro wizard, the witch, may not, he may not beat any of them one on one, just heads up, but it definitely allow, allows you to stall and put in support troops. <laughs> some, <laughs> put some facts up for everyone to watch on the right. <laughs> So, definitely a good troop. I've been using them for a while, and as soon as I put ba Baby Dragon and Mega Minion no! both in, Grr! forgot about that. As soon as I put Baby Dragon and, and Mega Minion both in together, I was able to win consistently. So that, that was a they're a good combination to use with each other. But now for for Mega Minion, it's a three it's a three elixir card, so that's a big difference. Believe it or not, just one elixir it makes a big difference. Uh, it does a much higher DPS, so it's able to really punish troops on defense. So when uh, I also use freeze a lot, and in order to use freeze effectively, you have to be able to freeze the troops and then put in a troop that will be able to take out whatever you you froze, even if they're big troops like Pekka or uh, Golem's not won't work with Golem, but uh, able to take out a lot of bigger troops. And he's he's got a quick first hit on defense, got a lot lower hit points. Uh, than, than the baby dragon though so that's that's a disadvantage so as we were talking about earlier how baby dragons you're able to put in a baby dragon it can ha kind of hold its own for for a few seconds while you get the next troop in to help out uh, me the mega minion is not like that and you can actually put the mega minion in and they can plow right through him at times and it's like he's not even there so you have to be really careful the way you use them uh, Again, both Baby Dragon and Mega Minion, I, I believe they're both good support cards. Uh, you can lead with them, yes, but you definitely can't lead with them and solo anything. They're not gonna, they're not, you're not gonna solo with them. Now, as far as as far as being able to actually take out a tower, I, I believe Me Mega Minion can do that easier than, than the Baby Dragon can because probably um, I don't know in the last 20 battles, I think I've probably taken out four or five towers with with Mega Minion. Just by just by um, a well placed freeze, and people don't expect you to freeze a tower for Mega Minion. Believe me. <laughs> so um, and now another disadvantage for Mega Minion is that it's a single target. So much higher DPS. 
I, and you know, honestly, I don't even know what his DPS is, but I do know that he that he, Mega Minion is taking out targets faster than the Baby Dragon is. And when you have um, Mega Minion in there with other cards, and you have multiple cards on, on a tower, it can take those towers out fast. And Gollum is another troop that I use. And if you have Gollum and Mega Minion both on a tower, it, it goes down pretty fast. So effective in the in the support role at, at both on defense and on offense so good overall troop and also because he because he's a flying troop not not all cards can defend again he can play defense against him so there's another advantage for you to even use mega minion and baby dragon using them both together they're actually a pretty good one two punch because the, the between the two of them it's only seven elixir so you're not even you're not burning up all your elixir if you have to drop them both at one time to play defense, and because I use the night witch as well, it it it's actually helpful to have both uh, baby dragon and mega minion both down behind Gollum. They react to them, and they're both pretty sturdy cards. So as they react to them, you can kind of sort out exactly what's going to happen before you decide to either a uh, go further with the push or back up a little bit and start playing defense depending on how well they defend your initial push with the golem So it's a real short video. So just to review real quick baby dragon is really good up against the horde troops it Does splash damage so it's able to defend against a large amount of the little single ho housing space troops Mega minion does a lot better when it's up against the, the larger troops Especially when you're using them as, in a, as a support troop and you're using them in combination with other troops where you can go and kind of snipe out and, and uh, Really punish some of these bigger troops as they're as they're attacking So both great troops try using them together I've been using them together and had a lot of success with them Just you have to understand their roles and try to make sure you use them in the right role So baby dragon for the horde troops mega minion for the bigger troops Hope you enjoyed the video Sub to the channel guys till next time been easy. Take care everybody Thank <laughs> you.